could this be the best Thunderbolt 3 enabled dock for the Mac? How's it going guys? This is Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. I have in my hands right here the TS3 Plus Thunderbolt 3 docking station from CalDigit. Now, this thing is the follow-up obviously to the TS3, uh, which has a very similar form factor and design, but this one includes 15 different port options, 85 watts of power delivery, an SD card reader with UHS-2, optical audio output, and much more. So we're gonna talk about this right now. Let's get it unboxed and show you the TS3 Plus. This pops off here. Inside you have a 0.5 meter Thunderbolt 3 cable. You have the power cable and you have the power brick. Looks like you have some rubber feet. So there is the TS3 Plus. So a very, very small device, the same classic CalDigit design looks pretty much identical to the TS3 dock that we reviewed previously. But obviously the big difference here is that there are more compelling port options. So on the rear of the TS3 Plus, you have your DC input, you have gigabit ethernet, you have optical audio output, you have display port output, display port 1.2. You have a USB port. This is a USB type C port. It is uh, 10 gigabits per second port. So this is USB 3.1 gen two. And that obviously is a big deal if you're connecting an external SSD, uh, you can actually tap into the faster speeds that 10 gigabits per second USB 3.1 Gen 2 allows. You also have a pair of Thunderbolt 3 ports, uh, so you can connect to your iMac Pro, your iMac, or your MacBook Pro. And then there's that second port for daisy chaining or for connecting an external monitor like the LG 5K display. And then you have four USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports, so five gigabits per second. You have four of them now on the rear. There's no longer two eSATA ports, which isn't really a big deal for most people, I wouldn't imagine. Now here's where things get really interesting with the TS3 Plus. Like the original version, you get the 3.5 millimeter audio connection. So you have audio output, audio input. You also have your USB port on front, but now you get a USB type C port on front, which is very handy since a lot of devices are now starting to adopt USB Type-C. Now this is a Gen 1 port, so you just get five gigabits per second, something to keep in mind there. If you need a faster connection, just use the rear USB Type-C port. And then for me, the most exciting thing about this dock is the inclusion of a front-facing SD card slot. So this is gonna be handy, obviously, for MacBook Pro users who outright lack SD card connectivity, and even for iMac users and iMac Pro users. For iMac users, it's nice because this is a UHS-2. So that gives you faster transfer speeds when using a UHS-2 compatible SD card. And for iMac Pro users, the nice thing is you don't get a drop off in speed and you get a front facing slot, which is super nice. So if you are tired of reaching around, plugging in those SD cards on your iMac Pro, this one can give you the same amount of speed and you get that front facing connection. Now on the bottom, you do have a non-slip surface. So if you wanna stand this thing up vertically, you can do that. But as I mentioned previously, CalDigit also includes these rubber feet if you wanna place the device down horizontally. So how does the CalDigit TS3 work in action? Let's go ahead and connect it to our MacBook Pro and check it out. So to test it out, I have the 2017 MacBook Pro. This thing only has two Thunderbolt 3 ports. So it's very, very limited IO wise. The CalDigit TS3 is really gonna open up the capabilities of the MacBook Pro via just a single Thunderbolt 3 connection. So let's go ahead and connect. So a couple of things of note right off the bat. You see the LED light for the TS3 come on when you connect to the MacBook Pro, and you also heard the little chime from the MacBook Pro indicating that power was connected. So the TS3 is charging the MacBook Pro at full speed thanks to its power delivery capabilities. So now I'd like to test out the USB 3.1 Gen 2 port and the SD card reader as well. So let's do that right now. So to test the speed of the USB Type-C connection with Gen 2 support, I have the SanDisk Extreme 900. Now this has a USB Type-C port with Gen 2 support in tow. So that makes it a good candidate for testing out the CalDigit TS3. 
Okay, so first of all, we're going to connect to the Type-C USB 3.1 Gen 1 port. We're going to test this out using the SanDisk external SSD, and we're going to use the Blackmagic Disk Speed Test tool to see how it performs. So let's do that right now. And as you can see, decent speeds there. You're getting about 500 and some odd write. And for read speeds, you're getting around 700 megabytes per second read, 740, somewhere around there, megabytes per second read. So definitely decent speeds there. So now let's compare when we connect to the USB 3.1 Gen 1 port, five gigabits per second max, and these are the results. Obviously a big difference between the Gen 1 and Gen 2 ports. Nice new addition. So now let's test the SD card functionality. One of the things that I appreciate about the SD card reader is that it clicks into place like this. So you know that the card's fully in, uh, it locks into place, and when you want to take it out, you just press it in and pull it out like that. So you get a really nice tactile response from the SD card reader, unlike the iMac or iMac Pro. And although it is a very small detail, I appreciate that you put the SD card in with the label upright like that. Okay, so let's test out the speed of this UHS-2 enabled SD card in the UHS-2 enabled reader on the CalDigit TS3+. Plus. And you can see the speeds are very decent. You have a 160 some odd megabytes per second write. And then for read speeds, you're gonna get around 220 some odd a megabytes per second. So very, very solid speeds there, thanks to that UHS-2 reader. And don't forget, you also get 85 watts of power delivery that can recharge a 15-inch MacBook Pro at full speed. So the TS3 Plus has a lot going for it. Number one, it provides full power to your MacBook Pro. Number two, even for iMac owners, the TS3 Plus can be a compelling addition to your setup. You get a front-facing SD card, it can be daisy-chained, you get a plethora of additional ports. Unfortunately, there is no Space Gray edition of the TS3+, Plus, which I wish they would have made, and it's not exactly portable because of the super fat power brick, which is understandable considering the power delivery output. But the bottom line is this, the TS3+, Plus is the best Thunderbolt 3 enabled dock that you will find for your Mac. It goes on sale February 23rd for 250 bucks. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.